with Real Southern Woman and Calder Valley Cooks. Me and Chris are headed, there's Chris. We are headed this morning to the Georgia Dome. Yeah. No, not the Georgia Dome. Lord, I, I, we've been saying that for years, but it's the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Um, to watch the guys play football, the high schoolers, um, and I'm doing this for my husband. We just watched a film last night about marriage. It's called War Room. And it was mostly about prayer and how we are to pray for our spouse and our families and what happens when we don't. And it's so true. And it was a great, great movie. I'm sure some of you have seen it. It was, uh, it was the most Christian-based sharing the gospel film that was out at the box office that I've ever seen. It, it tops them all. So, um, it is available now on Netflix. I suggest you watch it. Um, it is such a great movie. I may uh, see if May and Amy and Chris and I could all watch it together. Um, because it's true. It's very true. The things that are in it uh, really work. And um, so anyway, just thought I'd tell you that. The movie again is War Room. So take the time this weekend to put it on the TV. Pay the $4 or whatever it costs to get it on demand or wherever uh, through your TV because it's worth every penny. It'll be a big blessing to you. Um, we're going to start our Bible study this morning in the car because I didn't get to do it yesterday. We were working on a project. So today we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to read Psalm 16. And this is one of the Messianic Psalms. And it says, initially, David expresses his faith in eternal life. He is convinced that his dead body will not be left in the grave. But he looks beyond his own experience to predict that God's Holy One will not see corruption, which means decay. This phrase cannot be limited to David since his dead body has obviously decayed. It foresees the resurrection of Christ after he was in the grave only three days and so quoted by Peter in Acts and by Paul in Acts. Jesus died for our sins and then came back to life again to guarantee our eternal life as well. Um, that is in this study Bible that I have. It's, it's actually a prophecy study Bible. I have so many Bibles and I just love all of them. So, um, you never know which one I'm going to pick up and read out of, but they're all KJV for the most part. Psalms 13, a prayer of confidence. It says, uh, Michtam, M-I-C-H-T-A-M of David. What does that mean, Chris? Do you know? Nope. Okay. So, apparently this was a prayer. So, we're going to read it. It says, Preserve me, O God. If y'all want to turn your Bibles to Psalm 16, y'all can read with me. Okay. It says, Preserve me, O God, for in thee I do put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord. My goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent in whom all is my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. And of course, it shows a little G because the only true God is the big G God, our God. It says, their, share, their sorrow shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places, yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth, my flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul. Uh-oh, here's our six flags. 
He's hitting the brakes. It scared me. There's a wreck right here at Six Flags. I told him that earlier. Okay, it says, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth. My faith also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell. Praise the Lord for that. Neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life in thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. So we have pleasure in the Lord not just now, not just today, not just tomorrow, not, not, not just when we're old or when we're young, but forevermore if we have salvation in Jesus Christ. If you don't know for sure what salvation is or what it means to be saved, I suggest you read, not read, I suggest that you watch my um, video on salvation. And it's posted on YouTube. You can search it on uh, Real Southern Woman. And I believe it's called, um, you can just search Real Southern Woman and um, Born Again, and it'll pull it up. It says, I think it says, what does it mean to be born again? Um, so y'all read that and, or watch it, and then um, make sure, for sure, that you know, no matter what, that you're secure and going to heaven. Because there is a way to know. A lot of people are like, well, I think so. Or I'm going to go because I'm good. Or I'm going to go because I think most people are primarily good in their hearts. But let me just say this. The Bible says there's not one good, no, not one. So even if we want to believe that people are good in their hearts, um, <clears throat> it's not true. A matter of fact, I'll give you an example. I'm so hoarse this morning. <laughs> um... When we watched that movie last night, I remember when that movie came out at the box office. And I remember people praising it and saying how wonderful it was. But me and Chris didn't take the time uh, to go see it at the box office. And not only that, but we've not taken the time to watch it on our TV. A lot of that is our fleshly nature to where we think within ourselves, ah, oh, you know, it's a Christian-based film. How how good could it be or is it really going to be that good or is it going to but all that is is your flesh telling you that um, it may not be entertaining in other words but let me just say it was very entertaining it was very good um, and of course but the, the critics didn't give it a good rating because they didn't like what was in it it lets us know that prayer can break the barrier of sin and um, mend relationships, which is not what the world wants to believe. They want to believe that something else has to be done. Um, but it's something we have to do to mend the relationship. It's hard for them to understand that God can actually have the power to uh, control things in our life. So it's a great movie. Um, I hope y'all have a blessed day today. Pray for me and Chris as we're at the ball game. I hope we have a blessed day. We may do a little bit of videoing and show y'all later. Um, thanks for watching. Real Southern Woman, we're going to say our prayers. And um, and we'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for the Christians in this world who are not ashamed to proclaim the gospel. We thank you for them. For without them, many people would not come to know you as their personal savior i know we do not save people but we have to be the vessels that you want us to be to spread your gospel um, you have chosen people to do that and i pray that all of us this christmas this christmas season can share the gospel with someone even if it's our own family to just have the reassurance in our hearts that we'll all be in heaven together in christ's name we pray amen Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, Real Southern Woman.